Fox 43's Cindy Nauman spoke with watershed experts who say while we wait for more precipitation, there are some things you can do from the comfort of your home to help preserve the Susquehanna. Pennsylvania's largest watershed is shrinking. Well, the river is, is really very low right now. Which Susquehanna River expert Ben Pratt says is to be expected. July, August, September, October, November are the time of the year where we see the lowest flows. So it's not unexpected that we would see low flows. Though dry fall conditions have contributed to a larger drop this year. We had a pretty, pretty wet August and even into September we had some rainfall and then things dried out really quickly. So that's really what's driving the, the low flow conditions right now. The Susquehanna suffered a 10 and a half foot loss in water level since August. A dramatic decrease compared to river levels at this time over the last 134 years. We're currently just below the 10th percentile, which means that 90% of all the observed flow uh, in that record is greater than what it is today. So it's a pretty low flow for sure. Putting the pressure on precipitation. I think we're looking for Mother Nature to provide us above normal rainfall for a period of time so that we can get conditions back to normal. But also the people of Pennsylvania. It's on all of our shoulders to, to be responsible users of the resource. The resource that provides millions of Pennsylvanians with drinking water and industry with essential water supply. Times like these uh, suggest that we should be using less and so I would suggest that we do that. Even around the house, things like taking shorter showers, maybe washing clothes less, things like that. Uh, just conserving water around the house is helpful. Sydney Nauman, Fox 43 News.